right, y'all. Actually, I gotta sign it to my e-log. Forgot about that. But while I do this, um, you know what's funny too is uh, so yesterday I knew it was gonna rain, but I'm so used to my truck being clean. I think people are too that when you see it dirty, it's like shocking. So yesterday morning, I was like, man. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to rinse this joint real quick, like not a full wash, but enough to kind of look look clean. And as I'm washing, you know, it started like it's like misting a little bit. I'm like, damn, like should I be doing this even though I know it's gonna rain? But then I was like, man, there's a chance that I could beat the rain and I could make it all day being clean so we did that um it's worth it it's worth the shot bro 30 minute 30 minute 20 20 30 minute wash for a chance at being clean all day
All right, so these gentlemen are helping me get it started. Looks like it's dead. Also usually an issue in the port. I ain't gonna lie, this one's way bigger. No ditty. But this looks a lot bigger than uh, anyone I've ever hauled. It's obviously a new model, brand new. Man, no ditty, it just looked like longer though. Pause. so we got it on the trailer um, we're gonna reconnect now Mr. Hallnett. I usually see him over here, bro. Like, he always at the Port of Galveston, so. No surprise I see my dog. But, um, yeah, man, this joint. It's, I was told it's going to Stevensville. Um, I don't see an address on the paper, so. I messaged the contact I had uh, to ask him if he had a drop pin. Um, but yeah, I know it's going to Stevensville as far as I've been told, so.
What's up, YouTube? So this is a continuation from yesterday. Um, obviously, you see the machine. I didn't drop. Um, I was supposed to bring it. So obviously, we picked up in Galveston. We're bringing it to Stevensville, Texas. Um, I got to Waco, and the customer called and said um, I should pull over because it was, you know, it had gotten a lot of rain. It was too wet at the job site. It was muddy. Um, he got stuck in his pickup truck just trying to get to where the, the machine is because what we're going to do we're going to drop this one we're going to pick up we're going to reload another one and then we're going to bring that to austin so he said he couldn't even get to the other machine to pack it up because it was so wet uh so we we spent the night here in waco um he, he uh actually he said yesterday that he thought i was just going to end up at uh heading to austin with this one but this morning i messaged him and he said um he said it did get rain down there. It's actually raining right now, but he thinks we can load in the road. So I don't really like to do too much talking in my vlogs. I kind of like, you know, a little bit more trucking in there. Uh, so I'm gonna try my best right now as I head up that way, because I'm gonna go to Stevens, go see if we can unload in the road and then reload in the road and then head to Austin. So we gonna get some trucking going, man. But I appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to y'all for the support. We running it, support. We running it up right now. Let's go. a dog for letting me out man see right now like I'm looking at the GPS but I'm on a permanent route I just know the route uh, so the GPS really is just there just to kind of remind me and I know some of the old school guys gonna be like damn bro this new school truck hey, hey, hey take it easy man take it easy I ain't from America man I wasn't born here so you know we still getting familiar with the roads bro Yeah, pretty much we're gonna, we gonna run all the way up. Uh, we on six right now. We're gonna run all the way up six. Um, and we're gonna cut across, I believe it's 220 and into 67. So, should be chill. Uh, about an hour and 20 minutes to the drop. So, I'm sure once we get to the drop, 
that's gonna be something uh, completely different right there. Yeah, the guy told me yesterday it was a shit show, so I'm sure today it ain't gonna be better. Especially seeing that it's raining there right now. But, yeah man, we're gonna be cruising. Um, I'm gonna tap in with y'all just in here in a little minute, man. It's like the closer we get to the machine, the more it's raining, bro. Well, the closer we get to the drop to pick up, to unload this and then grab the next machine. But like, damn, bro. Yeah, they should have called this off, bro. six miles 5.3 miles away from the drop um, as y'all see this road is tiny man no shoulder um, and one thing about when you got a booster you don't want that booster to get off uh, you know in the ditch or nothing like that because uh, it'll drag that it'll try to drag the trailer down so and like I said um, we didn't drop yesterday because it was wet. Obviously, it's raining right now. So, about to be some, about to be some BS, bro. For Shody. And I already talked to the contact. He said that there's nowhere for me to turn around, really. So, uh, yeah, we go, we go park up once we get closer uh probably jump in the pickup truck with him and go check it out he said there might be one place where i can unload at and then uh, i'll have to back out but uh yeah we're gonna see bro
y'all see too like the speed limit on this road is 60 i'm going like 40 39 ain't in no rush take it easy man don't let the truck get away from you in this type of weather This road I'm about to turn on gonna be small as hell. this road we might end up having to back all the way out for two point miles so we gonna see bro So I went up the road. I went up the road to kind of look at what it's looking like. It ain't looking good, but we're going to do our best to uh to not We're going to do our best to not get stuck, not get in a bind, but also he don't want to tear up the road. So my best to record everything it is muddy as hell over here too and uh, like I said we're trying to uh, we're trying to get um, another machine loaded we're pretty much swapping out but that other machine is the same exact machine as this one but apparently you know it's heavier because it's not clean it got all the mud and dirt in it so yeah Yeah. Damn, look at that shit, man. That shit is soup. Yep, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun.
Hey boss, uh, I hit the cutoff switch on the other side. Cause it was dead when I picked it up at the port. This right here is why I drive with no shoes. I can't imagine stepping in that and then stepping in here, especially with white floors. Well, so there's the other one. He said it's pretty much the same machine. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see, man. I think he said it's the same machine, but it got a little bit more weight to it because it got dirt stuck up in it and mud. So, yeah. It, put our air in. I'm gonna air this up. Um, I'll probably pick my lift axle up. That'll help a little bit with the turning. And now for the booster. I think y'all gonna like this part. Uh, let me make sure shit fully open. Okay, so my man Money Mike said that this one got the chains. Got the chains on the axle. So let's get that fucking, I think that's like ABS or some shit. Let's get that out of there. All right. Nah, it's, it's always good when it got the chains right here on the axle, bro. Even though this one a little fucked up. All right, cool. Now, what do we need the chains for? I'm gonna show y'all real quick, man. Yeah. All right, so as y'all can see, we got that joint in the air. The trailer's airing up, so it's gonna go a little bit higher, but pretty badass. So 
y'all. So this is a little bit of some risky business right here. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, just because of how wet it is, how muddy it is. Um, I see tracks right here, like it looked like a truck went in there. Obviously, I just seen a, a pickup truck go through here and that's what it did. So I'm not going in there. So, but like I gotta be able to back out. So to get the right angle, I'm gonna have to kind of like make a three point turn, if you will. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of finagling in the mud, which ain't never fun. But uh, yeah, bro, here we go. I know once I get closer to there, it's gonna get probably a little softer. Yep. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. Jeez, look at the size of that spider. All right, so this is the part right here, cause I gotta get the right angle so that I can back out, right? Right, right, right. So this is where now it's gonna require a little bit of finesse, yeah? We got a ditch right here in front of me, so I definitely don't want to go in there either. Yeah, straight like that. You might need to go a little bit. Yep, yep. Nah, the other way. All right, straight right there. Yeah. Got it done, reconnected. Obviously, you know, we was playing in the mud, so we dirty as hell, but got it rechained, everything, flagged. Let me go make sure my booster, everything looking good. trailer yep all right let's get up out of here man let's go to Austin this joint is full of mud I think we still got about 45 minutes to the drop um, we got 183 
right, y'all, we made it to Austin. So we are gonna drop. And that's it, man. We're gonna drop and then head back to the crib, a little two day run. Appreciate y'all, man. Like, share, subscribe. You already know it's your boy, Green Goblin, man. We are getting to the money, to the money on. More vlogs, we got a lot of things coming, man. The brand's just gonna keep getting bigger. So I appreciate y'all's support for sure. Couldn't do it without y'all. Let's go.